Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. If e equals 8, find the numerical value of the following expression. This problem appeared as part of the MIT entrance exam in 1869. At the time, they would have had limited mathematical typography, so this was written as an inline expression. If it is difficult for you to understand the expression, let me present the modern formatting of this expression. Can you figure it out? Remember to use only pen and paper. There were no handheld calculators in 1869. Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. The first thing we'll do is we'll substitute the value e equals 8. So wherever we see the variable e, we will replace it with 8. We now have a mathematical expression that we need to calculate. We have various operations in this expression, and we will need to do them according to the order of operations. These are rules about precedence in which we should evaluate different operations. We have parentheses brackets, then exponent orders, then multiplication division, and finally addition and subtraction. If we have two operators of the same precedence, then you should evaluate them from left to right. This single expression actually tests all of these rules. So we'll get started with parentheses and brackets. We have two different parenthetical expressions, and we'll evaluate the first one on the left. Now within this parenthetical expression, we also have the square root, which could be treated like an exponent. So we have the square root of 8 plus 1. The square root also has an implied grouping of 8 plus 1. So we'll first evaluate 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. We now have the square root of 9, which is equal to 3. We now return to our parenthetical expression, and we have 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. We'll now evaluate the other parenthetical expression. In this one, we also have a cube root, which we need to evaluate first. The cube root of 8 is equal to 2. We now have 8 minus 2, which is equal to 6. We now have an expression, and we need to evaluate the square root, which is 8 minus 4. So again, we have an implied grouping of 8 minus 4. So we take 8 minus 4, and we have the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is equal to 2. Now we have a multiplication that we need to evaluate first. This is 6 times 2, which is equal to 12. Finally, we have a subtraction and an addition. We have 8 minus 5, and we have 5 plus 12. Some people are not sure whether to do the addition or the subtraction first. This is where the rule that if you have operations of the same precedence, you can evaluate them from left to right. So we'll take the left operation first. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3, and then we have 3 plus 12, which is equal to 15. And that's our answer. That expression ultimately evaluates to be 15. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Press Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.